August is soon coming to a close. With that comes September. Today, we will be discussing sneakers to resell in the month of September. If you're not into reselling, that is okay as well. You could use this guide to know what are going to be the most hype sneakers, the most limited, or even what popular general releases might go on sale because, hey, we're all trying to save some money. Specifically, we'll be discussing the name of the sneaker, the retail, the release date, and whether the sneaker will be profitable or not, or if they may even sit on shelves, resulting in a sale price. Be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications. This way, you stay 100% updated on all these products profitable releases. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter for urgent updates and info, KeithAdam10, and also personals for you, such as the recent shock drops that we have been seeing lately. Kicking it off with September 1st, the Women's Dunk Low White Sale will be dropping for $110. Despite these looking extremely similar to two prior pairs of dunks that already dropped, these still should maintain similar demand to those and thus should be profitable with a decent to good margin, especially in large sizes. Also on September 1st for $180, the Drake Knock the Hot Step Air Terra University Gold will be dropping. These have already bricked, not surprisingly considering the poor performance on the prior colorways, so personal only when it comes to these. Also on the 1st for $200 we are seeing the return of the Ultra Boost 1.0s in numerous colorways, personal only for all these, and most will also end up going on sale if you do wait, so be patient if you do want a personal pair. Also on the first for $110, the Converse Chuck Taylor Stussy Surfman Pink will be dropping. Given that Stussy collabs have been losing hype in general, that of which is reflected in the lack of demand we're seeing right now on these, I'd mostly expect these to just be personals unless they're extremely limited, which I feel is rather unlikely. Moving on to the second for $110. The Nike Craft General Purpose Tom Sachs Dark Soul for Shoe will be dropping. Similar to the prior pair, expect these to be very profitable with an incredible margin. Also on the second for $90. The Jordan 1 Low Vintage Gray in grade school sizes will be dropping on Nike. These have pretty good demand. With that low retail, you could expect them to be profitable with a decent to good margin. Then on the third for $230, the Easy 350 Slate will be dropping. While Stripe 350s in general do tend to do better, I'm still not expecting anything too too great from these. Nonetheless, there does seem to be sufficient demand for lunch money with a poor to subpar margin on size 10 and up, and potentially even smaller size 2 if you happen to have no tax in your state. Also on the third for $200, the Jordan 5 PSG will be dropping. Unfortunately, these have already bricked. Personal only, of course, like all Jordan 5 lows. Also on the third, the Jordan 6 Georgetown will be dropping for $200. While demand looks somewhat decent right now on these, I'm not expecting it to hold up enough for them to be profitable after fees, but they should be okay for local sales if you have no tax in your state, otherwise just personal only. Now, before moving on, I have some incredible news for you guys. To celebrate the first month anniversary of eDeals, we will be dropping some completely 100% free trials this Sunday, August 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The free trials will last an entire week, so enjoy. If you happen to be watching this video after that free eDeals drop, you can still feel free to join eDeals with the link in the description below for only $14.99. All information regarding it can be found on the eDeals website, again, linked in the description. It's an excellent way to help you guys save hundreds of dollars every month through free food, heavily discounted orders, free Amazon products, sneaker monitors, release info, exclusive endurance group buys, and much more. Again, the link is in the description below to join, and if you happen to be watching this before the 28th, make sure to follow the Twitter for eDeals for the free trials that will be dropped at 8 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday. Moving on to the 7th though, for $85, the Dunk Low Olive Leopard in grade school size will be dropping. At best, size 5 and up should be lunch money with subpar to poor margin. The man isn't too great on these, but the low retail does provide a potential opportunity. The same applies for the Dunk Low Hot Curry Game Royal, also in grade school sizes, which will be dropping on the 7th as well for $85. Then on the 8th for $170, the Air Max Penny One Bone will be dropping on Nike, unless you do have good local buyers and no tax. These are mostly just personals as of now. Then on the 10th for $210, the Jordan 3 Fire Red will finally be returning. I'm extremely excited to get a personal pair of these. I remember I used to have the 2013 pair back in the day, but these do have the Nike air on the back which everybody loves which i'm super excited about too let me know if you guys are nonetheless despite being a classic colorway stock of course is going to be very high on these and demand isn't necessarily high enough to offset that hence i'd mostly expect these to be personal only unless you do have good local buyers or have no tax in your state cop size 11 and up and are okay with a poor margin also on the 10th the nike air umero light bone gold and ale brown will both be dropping again this time on sneakers for 170 dollars the brown pair is mostly just for personal, but sizes under 7 on the light bone pair seem to be holding up for profitability with a decent to good margin. I can't say the same for the large sizes or the other colorway, however. 
Also on the 10th for $200, the Jordan 5 Women's Expression will be dropping. Like all Jordan 5 lows, I'd have to say personal only for these. Then on the 12th for $70, the Yeezy Slide Resin should be restocking again. Expect these to still remain profitable with a great margin thanks to that very low retail. Then on the 14th for $140, the Jordan 1 Low Elevate UNLV will be dropping. Like prior colorways of these, I'd have to say personal only for these due to the lack of demand in general on this model. Also on the 14th, the Jordan 1 Mid Wear Away Chicago will be dropping for $120. Given how low pre-sale is currently and the low demand, I'd have to say personal only for these as well. Then on the 15th for a whopping $300, the J Balvin Jordan 2 will be dropping. Demand is very high on these, just like what we saw on the Jordan 1 J Balvin, but that super high retail really does kill any potential for a good margin on these. At best, we might see some small profit with a poor to subpar margin, and that's assuming these perform just like the Jordan 1s, which might not be the case since these are Jordan 2, but it's also worth taking into account that those Jordan 1s were really wild, weren't universal at all compared to these, so it's definitely possible that these will be profitable with a subpar to poor margin. Definitely disappointed though because these would have been a great cook if they were in the low 200s of course. Then on the 17th for $140, the Jordan 1 AJKO Grayscale will be dropping. Like most AJKOs, I'd have to say personal only for these, especially given the very low pre-sale already. Also on the 17th for $170, Jordan 1 Heirloom may potentially be dropping. Unfortunately, I'd expect these to mostly just be personals, unless you do have good local buyers and no tax though. Then on the 19th for $220, we should be seeing the Yeezy 500 High Taupe Black drop. Personal only for these, and you may even be able to find them from below retail in the secondary market after the drop, so do be patient if you're looking for a personal. Then on the 22nd for $170, the Jordan 1 Denim Women's will be dropping. Unfortunately, these have already bricked, so personal only unless you do have good local buyers and no tax for the large sizes. Also on the 22nd for $170, $130. The Jordan 1 Low Split will be dropping. Demand is also quite low for these. As of now, I'd have to say personal only. Then, the same goes for the Jordan 1 Mid Split, which also drops on the 22nd for $135. Then, on the 23rd, the Yeezy 350 Compact Slate Bone will be dropping for $230. Like all Compact Slate 350s, I'd have to say personal only for these. In fact, some sizes might go for under retail in the secondary market. Moving on to the 24th for $180, we should be getting the US drop for the Jordan 1 Yellow Toe. After the Europe drop for these, they've already dropped a ton in value, but I do believe it should maintain this level at least, leaving room for lunch money still with a subpar margin, but definitely nothing notable. Nonetheless, I'm still super excited to get a personal pair of these. Let me know what you guys think. Then on the 27th, $440, the Dunk High 1985 Arctic Orange and Pink Denim will both be dropping. These 1985 models almost always end up bricking, and I don't expect these to be any different, so personal only. Then on the 30th, for $150, the Off-White, Futura, Dunk Low, Blue, and Orange both may potentially be dropping on Virgil's birthday, the 30th. Of course, you can expect both to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin, so full throttle without a doubt. And of course, hopefully we can get our hands on a personal pair. As for some releases without precise dates in September, first, the Dunk Low Argon should be dropping for $110. Expect these to be very profitable with a very good margin. Then we should also be seeing the Dunk Low Lottery drop for $110. These should also be profitable with a very good margin. Then we should also be seeing the Yeezy 700 V3 Fade Salt drop for $210. Like most recent 700 V3s, I'd have to say personal only for these. Anyway, that is all for now, but as usual, more will be popping up throughout the remainder of the month, so make sure to subscribe and enable post notifications. This way, you stay 100% updated on all these hyped releases and much more. And don't forget the E-Deals 100% free trial drop this Sunday, August 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow the E-Deals Twitter. And if you missed it, you can still join with the link in the description for only $14.99. Also, be free to check out the links in the description below for reliable, fast residential proxies at Kip Proxies. Feel free to follow Endurance's Twitter for updates on restocks or key giveaways. And the same goes for Gargantua if you want to keep up with the progress or restocks. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and Personals for you. This way, you guys stay updated on all urgent info like I was going over today. With that, though, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And, of course, good luck on all these upcoming releases.